good morning, happy Monday. Welcome to my channel. My name is Marilyn Acosta. And today I want to talk to you about dying to yourself, dying to your flesh. You know, this is hard for many believers and it's really something that we all struggle with on one level or another. And that is each day, you know, dying to the flesh, putting those things away that don't serve or honor or glorify God, that don't help us move uh, from glory to glory, you know, pruning away the things that we don't need, allowing the Holy Spirit to, to do a great work in us and being obedient. And, you know, oftentimes, I tell people when you're coming to Christ, there's a dangerous, dangerous prayer that you'll get to the point that you'll have to decide if you'll pray for yourself. And that is that you die to the old person that you are and that you will allow the Lord to break you, break you in a way that he can build you back up into what he intended you to be, to take off that old man. And it is a dangerous prayer because it's a, a prayer of surrendering all because you don't know don't know and how and what and which way he'll do that but it's a beautiful prayer because you get to the point where it is God none of me is anything and everything that you can do for me can only build and become and make me a better person what am I holding on to this dead person for and it's the beginning of a rebirth when you decide to release that old person and die to that old self and allow Christ to make you new in him, to create a new creature. And this is why so many struggle, you know, when they come and family members are like, oh, this person's changed. Our friends say this person isn't who they used to be. No, you're right. Because they're coming there looking for the old person and you are new. You've been made whole. You, you're growing in Christ and a lot of people they don't understand and they miss that old person that they knew and they're looking for that old person when they're coming for you and, it, and, and that old person no longer resides no longer resides there and I think it, it can be a struggle for many people who you know they miss that person but they're gaining something far better, but you all are just not in the same place that you all were in when you were friends together, or you hung together. You're not going to the bars together. You're not going out to the clubs. You're not drinking. You're Saturday, you're doing devotions. You're with your family, and they're out in the streets. You know, it's just that when you come to Christ, some things have to fall away. That's why I say always, can two walk together? unless they agree and you can share the gospel you can tell them about your new journey but oftentimes people have to find God for themselves when they're ready and so many times you know it doesn't always happen in the same uh, sequence so you got to be ready to walk away and release some people not thinking you're better than people but knowing that God is completing a work in you he's finishing something he started in you and he's going to keep working on you into the day of Christ. So when God says it's time to come away like he did for Abraham, it's not that he's pulling you away because these people are so wicked, but you are on two different paths. And maybe through your obedience, by you doing what the Father has asked you to do, they're going to see the goodness and the glory that's on your life. That they couldn't see if they were standing right under you. And they'll want to come to know the living God because they're going to hear of the glory of God on your life. They're going to hear about it. So, you know, that's a hard thing for a lot of believers to leave the old, to not look back like Lot, wife, Lot's wife did or like Orpha did in the Bible. But to keep moving ahead because the Bible says, who puts their hands to the plow and look back? They're not fit for the kingdom. So we have to remember who our focus is on, and that's Jesus Christ. And like the Bible says, who is my mother? Who is my brother? Who is my sister? Only the one that does the will of God. And that's, you know, like I said, you got to have God renew your mindset. And that's part of growing in Christ. When he renews your mind, you think differently, right? And he gives you the strength to release things that you 
otherwise would want to hold on to. But you got to let go of dead things. The Bible says, let the dead bury the dead. Why? Because there are some people that are just so spiritually gone that it's going to take Jesus himself to revive them. And you just got to come away from them. And you just got to pray for them. And you just got to let God be God because you got to move. Everybody can't go with you. And this was a lesson that the Lord, and he continues to show me. Not everybody is going to be able to move to the level or move um, to the place on the mountain that you're going. Not because they couldn't, because they won't. God gives us free will. And some people just will not answer the call. And as sad as it may be, and not everybody's journey is the same. You know, I think about Peter when he said, Jesus, what about John? What's his, what is his uh, outcome going to be? And Jesus looked at him and says, if I let him tarry to kingdom come, what does it have to do with you? Too many believers want to worry about you know, somebody else and what their journey is and why they get to do this and why are they so special? I would like to do that. What's going to happen to him? No, Jesus said, keep your eyes on me and, and, and I got this. But too many of us want to worry about our brothers and sisters. We want to compete with those in the body of Christ. Glory to God. And we got to know we're all in this together. We are the body of Christ. We all have a role. And when we stay in our lane and we become good at the giftings that God has called us to, and we honor other people's gifts and we work together, my gosh, what a blessing we are to one another. So you all have a great Monday. I'm not going to keep you long, but I just wanted to, you know, give you that word. It's a hard thing to come away from things that you once knew. But that's part of growing in Christ. That's part of being renewed. That's part of letting go of those dead things. So you all take care. You all have a blessed Monday. And I'll talk to you.